blocking the exit, occupying more than one seat, exposing your bare feet, pretending to be asleep. Some of us might be guilty of such behaviors, and understandably, is what many of our fellow commuters consider ugly. Amanda, what sort of commuters' behaviors turn you off the most on buses and trains? Of course, those who talk loudly on the phone, uh. snoring in the bus or trains. When you are coming out of the MRT, and then people just push, and then sometimes there's a gap there, right? If you drop something, you cannot even retrieve it. So. Yeah, sometimes they're not supposed to eat and drink. They eat and drink. Does that annoy you? Depends if it's like just bread or something, then doesn't matter. Right? But if it's durian or some other smelly food, then quite annoying. What right? about people who dig their nose uh, and do this? Uh? <laughs> No, no, totally, very revolting. They should maybe take a tissue paper and wipe it off. Uh, when the train is like very crowded, we are really like squeezing and then they'll be opening the newspaper wide, hitting your face. <laughs> and then when you tell them, uh, sorry sir, you know, uh, I can't stand it, they'll be like... Pshh. Some of the young ones, they pretend to, you know, to be exhausted, they pretend to sleep. <laughs> and no matter what you put, it doesn't make any difference. Young fellas, uh, they sleep at the corner, they just refuse to give to the young, older people. So you have encountered that before? A lot. All of them got be doing bad attitude. They will usually say that it's the school, school going children are the ones who will do such things. But I think it's also adults are also doing that. Like. What about the ones like couples who get intimate on buses or trains? Oh, I mean those public show of affection, is it? Oh, I think <laughs> they should do it at home. How do you feel when you encounter those? Close my eyes. <laughs> they can go to a hotel, they can go somewhere really private. Why do you want to show off? If I see my children like that, I will disown them. We all dislike ugly commuters' behaviours, but besides complaining, naming and shaming others, what else can we do to make a positive influence on others? Public Transport Council's recent commuter courtesy campaign using a local sitcom character is one way of reaching out to Singaporeans. So do you consider yourself a gracious commuter? Try to lah, try, try to. to. If you see some old people, you will feel that guilt if you just sit down, so of course you just stand up. I don't mind standing up, so it's not the problem for me. Tending to fall asleep, have you done that before? <laughs> Actually, I admit yes. <laughs> As a student also, we are tired. And so that so at some point of time we might be quite selfish. So like, uh, but once in a while we have to think of others. Do you think Singaporeans as a whole are capable of becoming more gracious on public transport? That is obviously possible. Like, it's just whether you want to do or don't want to do. The Pachukang stickers, I think it sort of works. <laughs> I think most of them are following. It's only a small group of them who are not following. So I think upcoming years, yeah, people will be more gracious. So you're pretty confident? Yeah, I'm confident in that. Remember, a happy journey starts with you. So, if you would like more people to be just as gracious as you, there's one other way to do so. Log in to Stomp and put on your thinking cap. Come up with some creative ideas to promote commuting graciousness and present them to us in the form of video or animation. You may well be the lucky winner of one of these prizes.